Peggy 12. In Rocksmith 2014, we've got 11 new Guitarcade games. Guitarcade is the area of Rocksmith where you can learn new skills such as you know, bends, slides, tremolos, chords, and all that, and brush up on your techniques in a less formal, less structured environment. Dux Redux is the Dux game that we always wanted to make. It's probably the first one you played in Rocksmith 1, and it's really simple. You're moving up and down the fretboard. Last time we were limited to just the top string, and now as you progress, you'll get to do it on every string on the guitar. Scale Racer is an 80s style arcade racer where you're learning guitar scales. You're on the run from the cops, and uh, as you play the scales up and down the guitar neck, you go faster and faster to get away from the cops. You can either play the next note early for more bonus points, or wait until just the last second to crash the cop car that's chasing you into the oncoming traffic. It's light years beyond anything we did in Rocksmith 1. Gone Wayland is another one of the all new mini games we've added to Guitarcade for Rocksmith 2014. Gone Wayland's all about dynamics, and the louder you play, the higher the guy goes. The softer you play, the, the lower he goes. A lot of beginners just play as loud as they can, and the true masters, the guys who really know what they're doing with the guitar, they know it's all about your fingertips, it's all about your touch and how soft you can play. Gone Whalen helps you learn that. The most popular guitar arcade game in Rocksmith 1 was Dawn of the Chordet, where you learn chord shapes and shot up approaching hordes of little zombies. So Return to Castle Corded has more zombies, more chords, more everything. There's boss battles, there's cutscenes, there's a great tongue-in-cheek story. It's in every way a nod to 90s you know, rail shooters. One of the things that people loved about Guitar Arcade before was that we had leaderboards for every game. You could check your high score against the world. We've kept that, but we've made it better. Instead of just passively checking your position on the leaderboard against the rest of the world, Rocksmith actually looks at where you are on the leaderboard and, and sends challenges your way. The leaderboard challenges provide never-ending motivation to keep getting better at the games themselves, but then also at guitar. When we shipped Rocksmith 1, everyone said that it was a, a classic rhythm game, but with a real guitar. That wasn't necessarily the case. It's a great learning tool. In Rocksmith 2014, we've made the learning better, but we've also added Score Attack, which is essentially a classic rhythm game, but with a real guitar. It's all the stuff that you expect, locked difficulty, head-to-head -head battles, duets. Everything is just so much better. The learning is better, it's more fun. It, it really is just another thing that makes Rocksmith 2014 the best way to learn guitar.